Hi guys, it's Alex from Style Jungle here. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are continuing exploring the South Island of New Zealand and today uh, we are in Dunedin. Uh, this is the city that we wanted to explore for so long and we are so excited to finally have this opportunity. And we start this day here at the most iconic site of Dunedin, which is the railway station. Uh, it is absolutely amazing, the weather is good and we have so many things planned for the next couple of days so please stick with us and watch this video till the end to see all the beautiful attractions of the Nidian and surroundings. So Dunedin has so much to offer to any tourists. It is famous for its Victorian architecture. Absolutely great, feels like Europe here. Uh, lots of amazing, beautiful buildings, uh, historic ones of course, museums, uh, gardens, uh, lots of uh, things here. We had a stroll around the city center yesterday. We started from the railway station and uh, made our way through uh, the streets uh, of the historic precinct and it was absolutely great everything is very close so you can easily walk around also lots of uh, amazing cafes and bars uh, here located in the historical buildings so uh, yeah very nice kind of combination of modern and old
Good morning guys, so it's day number two of our Dunedin uh, adventures and we are starting this day here at one of arguably the most popular um, places in Dunedin which is the Larnac Castle. Yeah, it's an amazing place, you can get inside, you can explore the gardens uh, around it. It's winter so it's a low season anyway and uh, it's basically just a couple of people uh, around us so uh, uh, you can enjoy it on your own pace, nobody can interrupt you. Amazing views from the up top, uh, from the tower, um, overlooking the Otago Peninsula. Amazing, absolutely great. So we are now going to the Tunnel Beach. Uh, this is probably one of the most secluded or isolated beaches anywhere in New Zealand. Um, the only way you can access this beach is via the tunnel. That's why it's called the Tunnel Beach, obviously. Um, and this tunnel is man-made, so uh, it is a very unusual thing, uh, loop track to the beach and back is about one hour. It's quite a steep hill as you can see, I'm just going downhill now. Uh, it's very slippery here. The views are already starting to uh, impress me and uh, yeah, here they are.
So our last stop for today is the Taga Museum. It has an amazing collection of items dedicated to history and nature. Um, the access to the museum is free, but there is a couple of exhibitions that you have to pay to visit. Uh, one is butterflies, amazing collections of uh, butterflies, they're so beautiful. Uh, it's like a tropical forest recreation. Uh, butterflies from Costa Rica, um, really, really amazing experience. Cost $15 per adult, which is not a big deal. And uh, another experience is Planetarium, uh, which is, as uh, advertised, one of the best in New Zealand. Fortunately, we missed the last show by a couple of minutes, so we can't really share our experience, but there is a Planetarium if you're interested um, in the Taika Museum. I guess this is it for today. We still have two more days here in Dunedin, so stay with us because tomorrow we are going for a very, very special adventure. Dunedin and Ataga region are famous for its wildlife, so we are spending our day number three uh, exploring this wildlife. And we are doing Elm Wildlife Tour, which uh, takes you on a van uh, from Dunedin to the Ataga Peninsula to a very special place where you can find lots of different species. The main interest is, of course, penguins. There are two types of penguins that uh, live here. Uh, one is one of the most common for New Zealand, is little uh, blue penguin. And another one is the rarest penguin in the world, is the yellow-eyed penguin that can be found only here. Uh, in Otago and uh, some of surrounding areas. And also during this tour you can see fur seals, you can see sea lions, and if you're lucky enough you can see albatross and royal al albatross, which is obviously the biggest one. So it's lots of fun, much recommended to do this.
After exploring wildlife yesterday, we are back in the city and we are so excited to see what else you can find here in Dunedin. And we are starting this day here at the Chinese Gardens, which is one of the most uh, unique places here. And we also want to visit Botanic Gardens today and some other places. So, uh, yeah, keep watching this video if you are interested to see what you can find here in Dunedin. When walking around the city center you can't miss another two landmarks. One is the public art gallery located at the Octagon, which is uh, probably the main square of uh, Dunedin. And another thing is behind my back. This is the clock tower of the Otago University. Absolutely spectacular. Another place you simply can't miss here in Dunedin is the Botanic Garden. Uh, it has a beautiful collection of plants from all over the world. Uh, also, aviary is absolutely amazing with lots of different birds. Uh, so fun to watch them. Um, another thing is uh, the Winter Garden, which is great as well. So yeah, if you like nature or you're just looking for a relaxing walk, uh, this is the place to come. are now heading off from the city to the very special place. So as promised we're doing something very very special, something you can do only here in Dunedin. This is the little blue penguin tours uh, in Pukekura. Uh, they start from the Royal Albatross Center here in, at the Ataga Peninsula and uh, basically you pay $35 per adult and they uh, guide you to this platform. 
uh, where you just wait for the penguin to come ashore from the sea. Uh, it is an absolute delight to see that so those penguins are so amazing, they're so beautiful, um, they're so fun to watch uh, and they are very very close to you. Uh, actually the best time to see this tour is right before Christmas, uh, but of course it's midwinter now. Um, so it wasn't that spectacular, it wasn't a lot of penguins, but it was enough to actually enjoy this experience. So it doesn't matter when you go for that tour, uh, it, is, it is a lifetime experience, I guess. So um, yeah, very, very much recommended. Another very cool place to visit in Dunedin is Baldwin Street. This is the steepest residential street in the world. Yes, I know you can expect something like that uh, in, uh, let's say, San Francisco. Uh, but actually, this is the street uh, it, which is the steepest in the world. We are standing here. It's hard to actually see how steep it is uh, on the camera, but just believe me, it's, it's just yeah crazy uh, so if you want to see it with your own eyes just come here Dunedin is the place to go So we arrived to the last place we wanted to visit in Dunedin this time and this is the Signal Hill lookout. Uh, this is the place where you can see the whole city, the panoramic views. Uh, it is absolutely stunning and actually the weather is very unusual. It started to snow, so as you can see it's sunny and it's snowing at the same time. It's quite windy as well, uh, so very very special moments to conclude our trip but this is not the end of this video we're still going to visit one more place outside the Nidin on our way to Queenstown so we'll see you guys there Finally in our last destination of this travel vlog. I know it's been a long one, but I hope it was worth it So we are now not in Dunedin, but this is the place you simply can't miss This is the Nugget Point Lighthouse. It is located approximately 90 kilometers out of Dunedin 
uh, it's worth a day trip from Dunedin to here or if you're driving to Invercargill or in our case we're driving to Queenstown it's a short detour from the highway and uh, this place is absolutely absolutely breathtaking uh, amazing views and uh, easy walk around uh, 800 meters one way uh, no steep hills or whatsoever so very very nice as you can see it's sunny um, a little bit windy but amazing weather for hiking so yeah enjoy the views guys tell me what your name is tell me what you like and all your secrets i just want to go over the details let me inside of your mind i know i just met you but something tells me that you might be into talking to a stranger with a tattoo baby i'm one of a kind there's a reason we're here there's a vibe in the air that neither you and me could deny well, I see how you stare up and down everywhere I can tell you're far from shy So let's talk till we drop or till we get kicked out Let's just say what we want of our Dunedin travel vlog we hope you guys enjoyed being with us and spending a couple of days in this amazing city uh, we definitely enjoyed our visits and we are continuing our South Island road trip so if you want to see other videos from this trip just make sure to click on the pop-up banner in the corner of the screen subscribe to our channel thumbs up to this video and we'll see you guys very very soon bye bye